Hi guys. It's kind of late at night. Okay, not that late, but it's late for me. But we have something to film. I got a gift. Do, 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 do. Bang! Strawberry! I think we talked about how Japan has brand name fruits, mm -hmm. right? This is actually one of them. Tochi Otome is the brand name strawberry that the prefecture we live in produces right now. So I got these as a gift. I don't know how much they usually are, but they're probably really expensive. Tochi Otome is probably the most famous brand of strawberries in Japan. I think there's like a big three. Tochi Otome, Amao, big two. I'm sure there's three, but we only know about Amao because um, Amao came from the Tohoku region where we actually moved here from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those two are kind of very close to us, I guess. If I'm correct, I think Tochi Otome was the first brand name strawberries in Japan. Tochi Otome is kind of a big deal. Like if you have like cakes made with Tochi Otome, it, it, you can bump up the price and it's totally justified. If you have a smoothie, bump up the price, totally justified. Like people go crazy over these strawberries. Oh, it smells so good. I know. I'm actually not a huge fan of strawberries, but they actually smell really good. So maybe I'll like them. I have high hopes. Yeah, we'll let's open it. Look, you crushed it. There's strawberry juice on here. No. Look at how giant these are. Here's an iPhone 8, just the regular one. Not, not no plus or nothing like that. And these are so shiny. Another thing that I've real like noticed about these strawberries is like if you peel the leaf back, they have this really long part right here. Like they all have it. Here's another one with the little stem thingy. Except it's not a stem. Maybe this is like a characteristic of the Tochi Otome, but there's another one. Doesn't really have like a set price of these strawberries, but on average, one berry costs about 600 yen. So this one costs about six dollars. How many are in here? Nine. Nine times six is 54. 5,400 yen. I mean, looking online, there's cheaper ones, but it's not from Tochigi Prefecture. So Tochi Otome made in different prefecture. It's cheaper, but the ones that you could get in Tochigi are actually very, very expensive. So yeah, this strawberry is definitely not something that we would be able to buy on a normal basis. We got okay. lucky. Yeah. All right, let's wash these and eat them. Be right back. Coming back. Strawberries. Just gonna eat a few and see how it is. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Let's try this out. <laughs> oh, oh man, it's juicy. Wow. It's really good. I'm a big strawberry fan, but the ones I eat in the US or the, back in the States, it's usually not too sweet. I mean, the artificial strawberry flavor is very sweet, but when you actually eat the strawberry, it's very tart. That's what I was expecting, but this this is Not actually tart sweet. At all. Very, very sweet. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it's juicy. Look at that glistening. So I channel was saying like she got these or they were giving these out because they were shaped funny. Japan so, is very, very strict with their shapes mm -hmm. and like appearances of fruits and vegetables. Any imperfections, whether it's natural or not, they can't sell them, especially because this is a brand name strawberry. Nature does its thing, you know. So I think we were able to get them as a gift because they're like, they're brand name, but they're not good enough for us to make money off of, so here you are. For us eating them, we don't care if they're yeah. shaped funny or not. Well, especially because I think we're not paying, so like... Yeah, I'm not gonna complain. I just ate two pieces. That's $12 right there. That's so crazy! Can you believe I'm actually going for seconds on a strawberry? That's crazy. Can you she... believe I finished a strawberry? She hates strawberries. Who hates strawberries? Bro. I have never until literally right now encountered a strawberry that I didn't think was too sour or tart. I don't like the ones on the cakes either. You're a bougie gal, that's why. Oh, these are freaking good. Yeah, Japan don't f around with these They fruits. don't play. There's a reason why they're brand name. It really shows why it's so expensive. But to be honest, would I ever buy those strawberries now that I know how it tastes like? Probably not still, it's way too expensive. At least I know how it tastes like. Basically, long story short, these were delicious and were ruined for life. Well, good so sama de shita. Good so sama de shita.
it's a different day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a new day. It's a new month. But we're back with yeah. some more gifts. I mean, I don't know when the last time was. I don't remember honest. either. I remember. So yeah, we had the brand name strawberry called Tochi Otome last time. And this time, Ai-chan, once again, got some gifts from her workplace. Yes. Yes. And just wanted to show that too. Why not? Tochi Otome, the one that we tried last time is the first brand name strawberry of this prefecture which is Tochigi. They had two for a really really long time but they actually recently came out with a third one. Ta -da! It's in a gift box and everything. Yeah. Look for those Zelda fans it looks like the Triforce but it's not. It has little legs on there. It's protected in bubble wrap. It's not very eco-friendly but that's when you know it's real. So this is the Skyberry. This is the second one. So it was Tochi, Otome, and then the Skyberry came out. There's six in a whole pack. That's some luxury strawberries. And it's written in gold letters. Because, you know, what else screams luxury than gold? <laughs> Looking up online, Skyberry, each strawberry is about 300 yen. Three bucks a piece. So this has what? Six in them. 18, so it's like... A thousand? Eight hundred? <laughs> yes, eighteen hundred yen. Yen, right. So it's ten dollars and what, eighty cents or something? No, it's eighteen dollars. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Let's cut that out! <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's eighteen dollars. <laughs> so yeah, it's a very expensive uh, strawberries. I think compared to Tochiotome, this might be more expensive now. Now these days, they, they do actually have cheaper Tochiotome now, so it's easier for everybody to try and like taste what it's like. Skyberry is newer than yeah. Tochiotome, so not a lot of people actually have the Skyberry to breed, to grow. Yes. <laughs> so I think that's what it is. This one's a little bit more limited in quantity, mm -hmm. which is probably why it's a little bit more expensive. Now, surprise, we have another one. This one is Tochi Aika. Yes. This one is actually the newest breed of the Tochi Otome brand. Focus on this. Yeah. Oh, it worked. Oh, now nice. I know how to do it. As Jujin just said, this is Tochi Aika. This is the newest kind of brand named strawberry in Portuguese prefecture. So this one actually just came out, I think this year or last year, like mm -hmm. it's relative, it's very, very new. These two plastic containers are the same size, but as you can see, this one has six, this one has nine. This one is the third gen, this is the second generation. That's Cyndaquil and this is Torchic. Tochiotome is Charmander. I chose them because they're red. Ish. Aren't they orange? Yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> Holding them right here, they smell amazing. Let's go wash them and eat them. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. This side is the Skyberry. Sky this side is the Tochi Aika. Tochi Aika is much smaller than the Skyberry. Let's try from Syndical. Skyberry. Can we, like, not confuse everybody? You're the one that's confused. Everyone knows what's going on. So juicy. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. Even the end part tastes like candy. Mm hmm The tip is super sweet. Oh my god. That's crazy. Tastes like high Sh chew. Yeah, strawberry high chews. Mmm, so good. Like no joke. Because when you eat strawberries in the States, it really doesn't taste like the strawberry flavored stuff. But this one definitely tastes like strawberry. Well, no shit, it is strawberry, but... You know what's crazy, especially about the Skyberry, is like, it kind of tastes like strawberry milk. Mm. Even though there's obviously no milk or cream, but it it's kinda, it's almost it's so sweet that it's almost creamy. It kind of you know? tastes like strawberry milk to yeah. me, and it's so juicy. I'm sure you heard it like, <laughs> <laughs> and like the juices just flow out when you bite into it's them. So crazy. The Tochi Aika. By the Wait. way, Tochi Aika. Uh, I forgot to say the price about. 450 yen. So this is the most expensive out of the, th out of the three. three right now. The prices I'm saying guys is uh, on average. There's more expensive ones. There may be more cheaper ones. So you might be wondering like why why are you cutting this one open but you didn't cut the other one open. Tochi Aika. I think the name comes from Ai which is love 
because when you cut them in half, they're like hearts. Eee. I feel like strawberries are mostly, mostly shaped, shaped like, like this, hearts. but this one is, I guess, genetically it's made, like made to, to make, always. you know, always be this shape. Mm -hmm. That's probably why it's a little more expensive. Because they're pretty. Mm. Mm. It's good. It's not as sweet as the strawberry, to be honest, but the flavors very even. I think you saw us eat the skyberry from the wider part than the tip to the last because the tip is so much more sweeter than the rest of the berry. Now with the tochi aika, it's very evenly distributed. The sweet, the tip isn't, I don't want to call it overly sweet, but it's not drastically sweeter than the rest of the berry, like how the yes. skyberry was. So every bite is equal. Some people don't like you know, too sweet. So it might be Thank better you. to get this strawberry compared to like skyberry or tochiotome I remember being very sweet as well. I think it depends like if you're gonna put this in a cake which one would better suit the cake or like which one would be better paired with chocolate. Heartsies. Very good. So good. So now we have completed the strawberry trifecta of this prefecture. The strawberry triforce. Would you be able to pick a favorite? I like skyberry. I'm in between skyberry and tochi otome. Otome. Sorry, Torchic, you are not being chosen this time. I gotta go with Sindaku Gen 2 for life. You need to calm down. <laughs> um, I can definitely see how the tochi aika would be favorited among like maybe dessert makers. It is a little more smaller and useful, but I feel like if I'm eating a strawberry, I want that big, large, sweet strawberry. They're all good. Very expensive though. If I do crave it so much that I do need strawberries like this moment, I'll probably go for the <laughs> tochi otome because they do have cheaper ones now. But if three of them, all three is in front of my face, I'll go with the skyberry yeah. for sure. For me, because I think we talked about how I don't usually like strawberries. Now that I've had these strawberries, I don't think I could eat other strawberries. Well, you got to try all these strawberries. <laughs> we did, and we definitely enjoyed them all, so thank you to the people who gave them to me. Also, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe. Sharing the berry, <laughs> sharing the berry <laughs> <laughs> Please share the video if you can and comment below if you guys want to see more of these special fruits Japan has to offer to us. Maybe we won't go by, but if we get a chance to get gifted by or like, you know, someone send us fruits, yeah, we'll try it and review it and let you guys know how it is. See y'all soon. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs>